for the ocean and the waterways we share with them. So let's get things started by introducing you to two of the dolphins we care for every day. In the center of the pool, this is Starbuck and Beretta. Starbuck and Beretta are clouded nose dolphins, which is just one of the many different species of whales and dolphins, also known as cetaceans, that can be found on the floor of the coast. All of the dolphins you get to see today were born through water seaboard parks, and the ages range from 17 all the way up to 44 years old. After today's presentation, make sure you stop by Dolphin Code for a chance to get to learn more about them and even come up close to these amazing marine mammals. So now that you have to learn a little bit more about them, let's dive right in and get to find out why dolphins are so cool. One of the most interesting things about dolphins is that nature has given them some amazing adaptations that allows them to navigate, forage, and play. Like the promo looking on top of their heads. That is the only way they're able to breathe, but they're also able to manipulate it to make different sounds. So let's listen in. occasional crustacean and to catch that fast swimming slippery fish they're able to use their powerful tails to sink to speed up to 22 miles per hour and with those powerful tails they're also able to lead themselves over the waves getting all the way up and out of the water wow i know that looks like a whole lot of fun hello everyone my name is allison and if you haven't found me just yet i'm right down here in front of the glass you know the chance to get up close and play with dolphins like that could bring out the child in any of us and those childhood impressions often last a lifetime that's why today we hope to inspire a young sea world guest in much the same way that many of the trainers and i were inspired on our first visits to sea world so with that joining me today is this young man hi there what is your name Elias, it's nice to meet you. Where are you from? He's joining us all the way from Norway. Let's give him a big sea world welcome. Now, Elias, 
today you're gonna help me show everyone how we build relationships or friendships with our dolphins. But first we need to say hello. So come right over here. We're gonna do a proper dolphin hello. I want you to cross your heart just like this. Yep, there you go. And then we're gonna drop our hand down by our side. Ready? One, two, three, drop it on down. Perfect. I'd like you to say hello to Starbucks. Starbucks, say hello to Alias. Nicely done. Now that we've said hello, another great way for you to start building your friendship with Starbucks is by giving them some fish. So let me get a couple of these out. And you can take this one and throw it right over the glass into his mouth. Well, that's okay. You can leave that one. I'll trade you for a clean one. Yeah, there you go. No worries. Try again. Nice big throw. There you go. That looked good. There's another one for you. Toss that one on over. Well done. High five there, Elias. That was great. Oh, but hang on a second. Look at our hands. Those are fish goods. <laughs> Smell them. Oh, goodness. Okay, don't worry. Let me show you how all the trainers get rid of our fish guts, all right? You're gonna show everybody your hands. There you go. Now put them together and rub them real fast. Faster. Faster than that. And then look at me. You're just gonna dry them off. Have fun on that flight home. <laughs> now, Elias, one of the ways we like to have fun with our dolphins is by playing a bunch of games. And one of the games Starbuck really likes is follow the leader. So you're going to be the leader. We're going to see if Starbuck will follow you. We're going to start kind of easy. We're going to see if he'll do some dance moves with you. I want you to spin around in a circle. Ready? Go. Hey, we saw you. Check it out. Well, he did that by following if we can get a little bit trickier, why don't we stomp our feet and walk this way and see if Starbuck will follow us. Ready? Big stomps. Here we go. There you go. Lock this. Oh! oh. Elias, did he get us wet? Yeah. All right. Well, there's no way we're going to win a splash game with him, so why don't we try something else? Why don't we get fancy and ask him to go do a really big jump for us? All right. Get nice and center because he's looking at you. We're gonna see if we'll go to a front flip. You're gonna do a front flip, are you ready? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's do the hand signal instead. That might be a little bit easier. Turn and face me, but look at Starbuck. There you go. Now when I say go, I want you to clap your hands together real big one time. Ready, go! Yeah, check it out. Watch right over here, it's just for you. items like fish nets and plastic bottles. Even better, choose reusable items and reduce the amount of waste we produce. Small actions like these can make a big impact in helping our ocean life. The trainers and myself are just a few of over 350 zoological professionals here at SeaWorld. Collectively, not only we provide world-class care for the animals, but we have played a role in rescuing over 40,000 of them. And all of that is because of you. Your visit today matters. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to take care of them, and we wouldn't be able to save the animals that need our help. So on behalf of our entire animal care team, we want to say thank you.
care for the world and take actions on behalf of the animals that come at home. That is a legacy we leave for future generations. And that legacy is one worth celebrating. We can live celebrate. and see the world.